It's URSA 2017 and I'm in the URSA Live studio with Chris Stevenson, owner of Stevenson Fitness. Chris, a pleasure to have you. Nice to meet you. California boy. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Ohio originally. But California. Now, now. you live in California. Yes. <laughs> so he's a California boy. So tell us, tell us a little bit about your business. So we're an independent health club and we've been open for seven years now. Prior to that, we had a smaller place, but uh, it's been awesome. You know, Southern California is a challenging market. It's competitive, but we've managed to do pretty well over those seven years. Um, so it's an independent health club, full service, locker room, showers, classes, spin, childcare, the works, all in a nice 7,300 square foot facility. Awesome. So what do you feel like sets you guys apart from all of the competition? You know, uh, I would say by far it's the member experience. Now I know everybody you talk to probably says they have the best experience. They don't, because we do, so they're <laughs> lying. But in all seriousness, that's something that we pride ourselves on. Our culture is driven by it, our evaluations. Everything we do in the company is around that member experience. We uh, consistently monitor the net promoter score. We've got really creative uh, suggestion and complaint systems to get. We, we literally gather as much member data as possible and use that for all of our decision making. So um, we really do, and it's reflected in our net promoter score, but we really do a tremendous job making sure that everybody, our mission statement is that Stevens and Fitness, everybody leaves feeling better than when they arrived. I and like I would that. say that happens 99% of the time. Now, how would you say that Earth has been influential on, on your, your system, on the Stevenson Fitness system? Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, between the sessions, the trade show, the networking, sharing best practices, uh, overall, it's the information and then also the motivation. Um, right. You come here and yes, you learn a bunch of new stuff, but you just get re-motivated and inspired. And again, you just, uh, it's such an investment to come here because you know, it's never spending money. It's it's investing in yourself and learning and growing through it. It's just um, the knowledge. I mean, and again, every time you. So I've been presenting for four years now. Right. Yet I still attend every single session I can because even as a presenter sharing information, I I come here and I'm blown away by all the new information that's consistently out there. So who are you really excited to see this year? You know, I got to tell you, probably my favorite of all time is Brent Darden. Yeah. He um, and I've heard him a million times. And I literally, this is my little Brent system. Every time I hear him talk, I always get one new thing out of it. And then I implement it immediately. And then I send him a picture or an email on how it's going. And uh, it's, it's just amazing. Like last time he said something, uh, he said he had the word stage coach in his office. Mm -hmm. And it's to remind him that every time he walks out his office door into his floor for his staff and for his members, he's on stage and he has to coach. So uh, literally I put the stage coach up on the wall, took a picture and sent it to him. But uh, he's definitely, every single time I hear him speak, there's always something new and always something really beneficial to learn. Now you are a guy that's got a lot of passion for what he does and that's that's awesome. So how receptive is your team to when you bring back all of this information on how you're going to transform your business? Oh, they freak out. They're like, <laughs> oh no, what, the, what did he learn at this conference? No, we bring a lot of our team here so oh, they they experience it as well. And uh, they're excited because we've got a very strong culture, again, that are really designed to make sure the members have the best experience possible. So they're literally waiting for the minute we come back and share everything that we've learned. And then we implement a, a strategy. I think one thing people need to know with URSA is you do get a ton of information. It's yes. easy to come home with notebooks full and, and information and then not do anything because Absolutely. it's so overwhelming. So I always recommend, you know, create your action plan, pick one or two things you're gonna implement right away and kind of roll all that new information out in a plan. Well, you seem like you definitely have a working system. <laughs> yeah, it, it works pretty well. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about legislation and policy. Mm -hmm. um, since you guys are entrenched in California, we know that there's a lot of stuff affecting our healthcare system right now. And we have this amazing act called the FIT Act. How do you guys feel about that at, at, at your facility? We obviously love what URSA does. We're all for the FIT Act. I think it's preventative instead of, you know, it's like preventative medicine, allowing more people to uh, get them into gyms and get them into events because it's not just it's not just gym memberships which obviously as gym owners we love but it's also for to enter marathons to enter races it's for kids to play sports so it's just such a supportive thing to get people active at a young age and I will tell you that in addition to owning the health club I do a lot of executive wellness I'm on the faculty at the California Health and Longevity Institute so we preach how you've got to be active and how you've got to eat well and, and all those different things that have such a massive impact on your health and and it, you're, it, without your health, you have nothing. So if the government can do things that are gonna help us get more people healthy, obviously that's huge. So all, right now money's spent on the back end and that's treatment, but um, take type two diabetes for example. Do you know what it used to be called? Adult onset. Absolutely. Now it's called type two because kids are getting it. So it's gonna help kids from younger ages, it's gonna help adults get healthy and it's preventative. And it's just, you know, obviously when you're healthy, your entire quality of life improves. You know, you feel better, you look better, um, you live longer, not just longer, but longer with quality. So anything we can do to get more people and help them out with their gym memberships and being more active, I'm all for it. And what do you think the biggest challenges facing the health industry lie in year 2017? 
Well, specifically from a selfish point of view, it's competition. I mean, it, it's just, it is overwhelming how much competition there is. And what we've seen in the past is that although the number of suppliers are growing, the number of gym users has remained the same. So okay. that percentage of people that actually use the facility. So throw me back to college where it's like, wait, supply and demand, the supply goes up, the demand's staying the same. That's not good for anybody. Right. But um, I think the FIT Act is gonna be helpful for that because hopefully that will get more people and encourage them to use facilities. So hopefully we can increase the demand along with the supply, which is just great for our industry in general. That's awesome. And if you could sum up your experience in one word here at Ursa 2017, what would it be? Inspiring. Inspiring. Well, I'm inspired by Chris Stevenson. And you know what? If you want to find more about Stevenson Fitness, where can people find you guys? Um, StevensonFitness.com. And then just search Stevenson Fitness on all the social media, except for Snapchat, because I have no idea how to use that. But everything else, we're good. And that's Chris Stevenson here at the Ursa Live Studio.